Hello everybody, it's Glass Half Dead here, and today I am going to be looking at some Starborn Ancients models from Artel W. For those of you that don't know, they are a third-party miniature manufacturer, uh, and their Starborn Ancients line is essentially Games Workshop's Craft World Eldar. Now, I did get in touch with them, just so you know, uh, and they sent me this nice little note for all of us, so thank you to them. But these opinions are entirely my own, as I did pay full price for them. Let's get into them. So this is just showing you the damage that I did to my wallet when buying them. And first up we have the bits. This is an unboxing of them. That's how they come. There's no fancy sprues here. One thing I will say if you don't know RTLW is the absolute quality of the resin is honestly the best I've ever seen. I, I have nothing bad to say about the, the actual material they use or the castings they give you. As you can see, there are a few exhaust ports, <laughs> probably not called exhaust ports, uh, off of the bits, but there are almost no actual mold lines like you might be used to on a sprue. We're seeing the close-up detail of the resin here, it's really great. I'm just showing you these ones so that you can see how you get a few tabs on it, like that. And on this particular gun, there's, there's, there's literally not a mold line. You clip off those three little tabs and it's ready to put on a model which is absolutely amazing. But for example, this piece, this sword here, had no tabs to clip off and no mould lines. I don't know how they do it. The technology, it's beyond science. Anyway, let's think about RTLW. They are Russian based and I'm just going to get this out of the way right here, right now. They are going to take a long time to deliver to you. Let's just say that and we can move on with our lives. That is the big downside. Everything else from Artel I've bought is amazing quality. You're seeing the up close glue together models now. Uh, you know, before my paint job ruins them uh, and after they've actually been put together so you can see the actual aesthetic properly. But they will take a long time to get to you. The style I love, but not everybody does, don't worry, we've got scale comparisons coming up very soon. And the cost is entirely for your own perspective. I can't tell you if they cost too much or too little. You always have to compare it to what would the alternative be from GW. Personally, I am more than happy to spend a little bit more if it gets me a miniature of this quality. As I do, I can, I can confidently say that everything I've picked up from Artel is better than fine cast, which is what all of these models here are replacing. These are just a few scale comparisons for you, again, before I actually paint stuff, and this is f the Fuegan model, just because he looks amazing. Like, you just, he looks great. I just wanted to show you that before my paint ruins him. And now this is them painted. The thing with unboxings is I rarely see them actually painted in full 1080p, 30fps, so I wanted to do that for you right here and now. I've seen all of these models unpainted, I've seen them unboxed, that's what I did before I went out and purchased them. But here we have the full load of the Fire Dragon Warriors, the Striking Scorpions, the Rangers, and the Farseer for your viewing pleasure. Now, uh, just to get this out of the way, as I've mentioned my painting once or twice already, this is 100% contrast paint. Um, I wanted to get these done quickly uh, to go along with my, my Craft World Eldar army. This is what the most basic paint job will make them look like. I have used zero <laughs> skills and trickery on these. This is how they are. If you buy them, they will look at least this good once painted, if not better. If any of these are interesting to you, I would thoroughly recommend them. My personal favourites are the Rangers. Oh, I just... I, I, if you follow this channel at all, you know I have a weakness for power armour with cloaks. Rangers hit that. Their armor is lovely. It's sleek, like an Eldar should be, but it's still clearly some sort of powered armor. Um, and the cloaks here, I went with the white. I actually might change that to be a little bit more traditional, you know, brown or green or leather. Fantastic models. In fact, if I could, 
I would almost certainly make an entire craft world Eldar army just of converted rangers from Artel here. I think they're stunning. Anyway, that is just a little showpiece of what the Artel models look when painted and all together. And as you can see, I think they absolutely hold their own, even when obscured by my horrific painting skills. Now let's get into a few scale comparisons. I put a Wraith Lord in, it's not a Wraith Lord, is it? I put a Wraith Guard in there, just so you could see the, you know, the biggest infantry model from the Eldar there. Um, that was a, a Spirit Seer and a Banshee. Now I'm including the Banshee and the Spirit Seer because those are the two newest models from the GW line uh, for the Eldar. So we can kind of assume that if people, if Eldar get a, an upgrade for some of their aspect warriors in the future, which we kind of hope they will, this is how the Artel models will look next to them. You can probably see a potential issue, and that is that, oh, uh, so I wanted to include an old aspect warrior, which is the uh, Death Reaper on the right there. And then a Spirit Seer on the left next to a Dire Avenger. You can see GW is already screwing with their own scale. So for those of you that have scale issues, I personally love the Artel realistic proportions. I think if you want to call them Primaris Eldar, that's, you know, you could call them that dismissively, but it, it totally makes sense as well. But as you can see, the new Artel scale kind of stacks up pretty well i think to the new banshees and the spirits here the two latest models from gw there so as i was saying when gw finally gets around to putting in their own new aspect warrior line i think our tails will sit really nicely next to them they will be ever so slightly taller and ever so slightly slimmer but that's it anyway our tail models love them go buy them this shot is just so you can see a few regular Eldar next to them. Uh, if I had more painted, I would put them in this shot. Sadly, I don't. And now some close-ups of the same, for no particular reason, as far as I can tell. But this pretty much rounds out my review of the Artel models. I think they're great. But you can make your own mind up, because I have uploaded them fully painted, unboxed, start to finish, this is how they will look if you're not good at painting. There you go. And this is just a little bonus. Damn.